Have you ever tried that old age filter that shows you how you look when you'd be old? If yes, that filter shows us only the most obvious changes like grey hair and wrinkles. It's fun to see how we would look like that, right? But these are only the visible external changes. Many more changes take place in our bodies as we age. Today, let's find out what happens on the inside when we age and why does it happen? Scientists have put forth an evolutionary hypothesis for aging. One explanation that has risen to the top is reproduction. The sole purpose of any living thing in life is to multiply and proliferate. And after that is achieved, nature decides to let our bodies get old and worn off. And so we are born, we live as adults, reproduce and slowly age and finally expire. But this is just an evolutionary assumption. Is there any science behind what makes us old? Yes, the answer is cells. The science behind aging. A cell is the basic fundamental unit of life. It is responsible for all bodily functions right from eyesight to memory and even reproduction. Humans have accepted aging and all the symptoms that come with it, say like loss of hair or thinning of hair, decreased brain function, loss of fertility, losing the ability to hear and see clearly and many more. And these symptoms occur because our cells after a certain age stop functioning properly or die. Fun fact, the United Nations have predicted a global average life expectancy rate of 72 years. That means across the globe, humans live up to 72 years on average. But what is the reason behind these limited years we have on this planet? Reason number one, DNA damages in the cell. We are all made of cells and in the nucleus of these cells is our genetic material, DNA. The environmental stress like pollution, UV rays, exposure to radiation, toxic habits like alcohol and smoking, lack of sleep and work pressure can cause a lot of damage in our DNA and can also hamper our functioning. But while we are young, our cells repair themselves by undergoing division and make new cells. As time passes, this damage increases in our cells and our cells cannot keep up with the repair. And sadly, a cell can divide only 50 times in our whole life. And when it cannot divide further, the cell dies. Now, too much cell death can cause organ failure in old age. Did you know the oldest person to ever live was a French woman, John Comment, who was 122 years and 164 days old when she died in 1997? Let's get to reason number two. Program cellular factors. This means we all have a biological clock and there is just some limited time we all have on that clock. In short, we are all just programmed to die after a certain age. The DNA in the nucleus of the cell is tightly packed to form chromosomes, right? These chromosomes have a safety cap on its ends known as telomeres, which is actually just additional DNA. Now, every time a cell divides, this safety cap or telomere shortens in length Till a time when there is no safety cap left at all. That is the time a cell cannot divide further and lose DNA and hence it just dies. Another factor is the mitochondria. You've all heard of it, right? Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So this is what makes energy for us and for the cells. But think of it as a machine. It produces a lot of energy in the young days and as time passes, just like any other machine, the production goes down and it produces very little energy during our old age. So to quickly summarize, aging is inevitable. It is going to happen to all. We rather just be more accepting of it and lead a happy and healthy life. Now you may ask, can you reverse aging? Can an 80 year old man become a 40 year old man again? Scientists are working to find an answer to that. But for now, I can definitely tell you, you can slow down the aging process. How? Simple, stay away from all the external environmental factors that damage the cells in our body. And apart from that, you can do just two simple things. Number one, sleep for seven to nine hours every night. Your cells and your body needs to rest and rejuvenate. Number two, when you're awake, avoid sitting for a long time. Sitting is the next smoking. Try being active throughout the day. Take the stairs, exercise, Cook and clean on your own and just be on your feet most time of the day. Do you know any other natural ways to slow down aging? Let us know in the comment section below. 
Till then, like, share and subscribe to Let's Tute for more such videos. Keep watching and keep growing. Thank you.